All right, here we are again. I didn't want to come back on here at all. And this, this video is going to be absolutely pointless. It's going to be totally useless. But it's 100% the, the, the main reason, probably the main reason why I'm talking to this camera at all. And it's evidence right in these fucking comments. Four hours ago, somebody pops in here and says that I've gone off the deep end and that I'm in desperate need of medical attention. Med mental health. Four hours later, I'm asking him. Well, I think it's as calm as it was then. The situation never existed. Why he would use the word desperately? Desperately implies a sense of urgency, of, of an emergency. That you're going to convey to our men. You've all seen them. They're ready to go. Whatever. You, you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's going to get somebody fucking hurt. In no way should a person like that... This, this video is totally pointless. Because these people exist. And they're going to get somebody killed. In no scenario should the word desperately be used. And to convey it to somebody else. At all. In a situation that did not exist. I'm on the couch. On the, on the bed. As it was then. No situation was present. And this asshole is going to get someone hurt. And I pray to God it's not me. Because I, I don't want to go through that again. And it almost just happened once again. Absolutely not necessary. Care what you believe. It was not. Shit like that. It's 100% why I'm here. Doing this. 2015. There's four videos. On my fucking channel. Over 400. Two of them. If not more. Multiple mentions. I don't even want to, this is the, probably the main reason for, for whenever I start up is because of this. Try to get these fucking records that contain three brutal assaults that were absolutely orchestrated by my mother to have me killed and then imprisoned. One or the other. And I almost fucking died. It probably, there was, I'm sure there was a selection of words, whatever, it was probably not desperate. But I'm sure, I'm almost positive, because everything she writes includes a small pink handgun. I'm absolutely positive, but I'll never see these records because they will not release them. And my quest to get them is what stirred the shit up. <laughs> absolutely positive that she mentioned handguns, rifles, whatever, because the amount of force that showed up at my door and kicked it the fuck in was totally unwarranted. There was no situation there at all. And it got me hurt bad. And I'm just, fucking lucky to be alive. It's fucking ignorance like that that can fucking spin out of control. It was totally, totally fucking put on and meant to end me from Patty. And they're not giving up the records. They're even mentioning it. It's pissing them. It's a fucking hornet's nest. They don't want that out for a reason. You can't figure it out. I have almost zero hope for this. At all. You'll never hear what that lady said. I'm going to assume three people show up for me for no fucking reason, with no situation, but kick the shit out of me the first time, second time basically the same, and the third commit a kidnapping. And I can't get the records since 2015. So people like this, using the English, you don't even know how to use the English language. You're totally incapable. Picking a fucking correct word will escalate, escalate a situation regardless. It's, it's going to change. Communication is everything. People, I don't want to mention this fucking person, but they're, they're here and they're not going anywhere. And they're currently discussing medications. That I should be on medication. This fucking lawyer person pushing this fucking thing. That girl can go from fucking mildly annoying to pain in the ass to fucking deadly just by placing a phone call. She, and she did it in fucking court sight. You'll never get the records. What did she say? She made a video... Saying that I attack somebody. But there's no fucking attack. Loud words. It's not an attack. She's fucking deadly. By picking up the phone. Absolutely. I, I have zero hope. For, for pretty much anyone that gets fucking wrapped up. Be it by this fucking guy. But never get an answer out of him. There's no reason to pick up. To pick that fucking word. Totally inappropriate. He'll never understand why. Look at someone else hurt, and it just probably won't be him. So, yeah, fuck that guy. But 
I didn't want, I did not want to talk about this. Anybody that thinks you're getting help in this place, go check yourself in a wind mower driver. Go to any place. Look at them fucking sideways. They'll probably admit you when you get out, if you get out. I don't even want to know what you think. Just go experience it. Zero, zero, little is no hope. I'll try to come back with something fun at some point in time. The shit's going to get somebody hurt. If you don't understand, just, just fucking leave. Just go. Just go. You don't belong here. Oh, if I need your help, I will call you. <laughs> I'm sure we've talked before, and you're going to understand. If, <laughs> if I've never talked to you, I absolutely do not need your help. And the people I've talked to, I've talked to pretty much quite often, I've never, ever had a fucking mental health complaint. Stop the bullshit. I don't need your help. We'll call you. Don't need Patty's help. It's fucking absolutely atrocious. Goodbye.